I'm back. So I've been getting many questions about why I call Papa Papa when it's like, why don't you call him Dad? And well, first off, he's not actually my dad. He is my stepfather. My mother is remarried. And then it's like, I know I'm going to be questioned about where's my real dad. My real dad is still alive. He is actually a truck driver. I don't have any pictures of him. And then again, I, well, I have him on my phone, which I'm using as my camera, but I don't have actual pictures, like hard copy pictures of it. But my dad is a truck driver that works for Bay, Bay as you've probably seen me wear my red shirt that says Bay, Bay in a couple of videos, or my Bay, Bay hat. I've got a few things that say Bay, Bay. Yeah, I'm shedding. Well, I actually sent my dad out on like a little mission, forcing him to get out of the truck and go walk around and see the places is he brings me back little cards, like little decks of playing cards, like poker cards. And I keep, I take all the jokers out of the cards, and I have them all in like a little drawer over there. It's off camera, it's way over there. On the other side of the room, I'm too lazy to move. But I keep them in a photo album. As you can see, it's a pretty size, pretty good sized photo album. I am running out of room, so I will need another one. And... It's like I just take all the jokers out, and he brings me back fun little souvenirs. Yes, my dad went to a strip club, and he gave me the VIP tickets. All of the fun little jokers, I will take one of each out, and I will show you guys that. But they're all... Where can I find the back? Where's the back of it? I have this much stuff from my dad. And I have this much room left. And each side is double-sided. So give me a minute to take all the things out and I will show you. Okay, I'm back. And this is how big my stack is. So this is going from the back of the photo album. So from back to front, because that's how I took them out. I took them from front to back. So this way I can put them all back in order. I have cards from New Jersey, and this is what the backs look like. Some of these are just standard Joker backs. And there are lots of repeats. This one is from New York. The back is the same. Another one from New Jersey. Same back. Another one from New York. Ah. Same back. This one is... Ah. This one doesn't say the state on the front, but it does say it on the back. This one is from Ohio. And it's actually got a cute back. It's got the little red... Cardinal. One from Indiana. And here's the back. There is a little saying on the back. Never mind, it's not a little saying, it's just photo credits and stuff. So here's the front again. And once I get to it, there is one that says words on it, and I will read that when I get to it. Here's another one from Indiana. Here's the back. What is on the... This one does have sayings on it, and I will read it in a second. It says, Indiana Indianapolis Canal, the speedway is home of the Indianapolis 500 and the, ba and the Brickyard 400. What that means, I don't got a clue. I have never been to Indiana. I've drove through it. Or th yeah, I've drawn through it, but I've never really been there. One from Georgia. This one's got a little bit of a different back. The World Joker. Chicago! If anyone has watched Victorious, it's Chicago. <laughs> If anyone's watched Victorious, here's the back. It's got a seal. 
And this one is from my dad's company. These are the Bay and Bay cards that I have, the Jokers. This seriously looks backwards on my phone, so. 2015 Best Fleet for dri to Drive 4. I almost said for driving 4. It's to, driving, to Drive 4. And this is the back. And this one is from a casino. These were actually casino cards that uh, they were that were played in an actual poker game. These are from Sparks, Nevada. That I think that's what N V stands for. And black and white joker. I do have the red and black one, it's in the photo album. Here's one from Memphis, where Memphis is. I don't know, I had to look at the map. I think it's in Texas. I could be completely wrong, though. And the back has the little seal. Here's one from Michigan. It's got the giant M, and it's got, it says Wolverines. Is by the world joker. Why did I put that one like that? It needs to stay like that. Here's from one from where m most of my family's from, Minnesota. Land of a thousand lakes. Fun joker! <laughs> Again, I do have the colored one. It is in the photo album. Another one from Minnesota. It's got the same Joker on the back, so I'm not going to show that one. Just kidding. Joker! Here's one from... Reno, Reno, Nevada. I don't know if it's Reno or Reno. Someone please tell me in the comments below. World Joker. Hey, look! Another Minnesota! <laughs> My family's from here, so I've got a lot of repeat ones. Wild Joker. Here's one from Arkansas. Or Arkansas. As Papa puts it, it's Arkansas. Or Arkansas. Uh, I'm tired. And once again, the World Joker. Tennessee! It's from the World Joker again, so... World Joker. This is actually... I like the... I love the front of these, because a lot of these are just, like, so creative. Like... I don't got a clue where this one's from. It's Lake Tahoe, so... What state that is in? Can you guys tell me in the comments below, please? What state that is in? I don't got a clue where Lake Tahoe is. For the longest time, I thought that was a city... Wild Joker. Wild Joker. Mm. Now, here's one from my state that I was born in for fun little fact about me. And uh, there's a curl. Found it. I am actually from Iowa. I was born and raised in Iowa. I don't live there now, but I was born and raised in Iowa. So, I love these cards. Once again, the World Joker. Getting to the end of the pile. Here's Texas. Again, I've been at Dallas Airport. Once again, the World Joker. But I've never really been in Texas for more than a few hours. The Here's one from the San Antonio Riverwalk. I don't know what state that is in either. So, again, can you guys tell me wh where this state is? In the comments below, from the World Joker. This one is from the Oregon coast, from Oregon. And this does have a saying on the back. This is not a joker, but this is one that, with a saying. 
It says, Oregon coast, from the lush evergreen forests of the coast range to the wild flower stern meadows, rocky cliff lines, and vast sandy beaches, the Oregon coast contains some of Oregon's most picturesque scenery. Among the, the Oregon coast, one discovers a world theme with abundant marine life. It is home to endless varieties of mammals, anemones, anemones, shellfish, and marine birds. Visitors enjoy a, wild, a wide range of activities with the various shops, galleries, <clears throat> canaries, yeah, that says canaries. That says canaries. Yeah. Restaurants and aquariums that lie in the cities among along the coast. Whether it's whale watching, lighthouse exploring, fishing, biking, kite flying, or simply strolling along one of the many beaches, the Oregon coast captivates all that encounter its beauty. So this is what it all... This is all what I read. I don't got a clue if you guys can read that because I cannot read backwards. So, especially saying as though it is all in cursive. Or, not cursive, just fancy, fancy lettering. So if you guys want to go ahead and try and read this, if you guys can, pause the video because I'm not staying on this because I'm already going on 12 minutes. So, And I know my phone and it's going to die here. I'm just like, nope, nope, full maximum. So... This is the last card, and this is also from Oregon. This is from Portland, Oregon. And this one's got the different Joker. So, yeah, those are all the cards that I have from my dad. I also got a couple poker chips in here. As you saw, I have the strip club tickets. I've got movie passes, Sea Life things. Like, tickets from when he took me to Sea Life when I was up there, when I saw him last. When we went to Valley Scare. That was last year. We went to Valley Scare. It, it, it's in Minnesota. It's originally called Valley Fair. But in October, it's called Valley Scare. And... Yeah, we also went to the zoo. I've got the tickets here. And then I have also got a necklace from it. Again, it's way over there. Too lazy to get it. So, it's a little panda necklace. And, yeah, that's about it for what I've got in here. So, um, I know he does have more cards, so I will do an update. And I will show you guys the cards that I get when they get here. So, yeah. I'm going to have fun reorganizing all of these, so. Whee! So, see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, my next video, I do plan on getting a tattoo sometime this month for my birthday. It will be right here. It will be a matching tattoo with my mom, so hopefully I will be able to film it and show you guys before I get it, the day before I get it, or a couple minutes before I get it, sometime during the filming of the tattoo, like, me getting the tattoo, and then you guys seeing, like, seeing my tattoo with me for the very first time, because I won't be watching it. I want it to be a surprise, because there'll be a matching one with my mom, because hopefully I, I'm thinking I might be getting it first, then mom will, because it's both going, we're both getting it on our right wrist, and we don't have a date yet, we're going to be scheduling that on Wednesday, so... Hopefully my next video will be me getting the tattoo, and you guys could be right along with me, because it'll be my first tattoo, and my mom's last tattoo. So I am kind of a little nervous, a little anxious about it, because, again, as I said, it'll be my first tattoo, and it definitely won't be my last, because I do plan on getting another one on my left wrist of a snowflake. And hopefully somewhere down the line I will be getting either a music note or a spotlight, still debating on that, and a paw print. Because each of them have a different meaning to me, 
and I will be explaining those when I plan on getting those somewhere down the line in the future. Because I only plan on having four, five tattoos. One, two, four tattoos. Maybe five because I'm still thinking of getting a semicolon. Like, I don't know where I'd put it. Like, probably on my shoulder or something, but like, small little semicolon. Because I will tell you guys the reason for that. I do have friends that. And suicide is a big situation. If you guys don't know what the semicolon stands for, in writing it means the author could have stopped, like ended the sentence there, but he chose to keep writing. And with that means, it means you don't have to end your life at that moment, at that point. You can just keep going. You can keep writing your story. So I do plan on getting a semicolon after I get my other four tattoos or somewhere along the line because I do have friends that they need a semicolon and they have a semicolon with them, not on them, but you probably know what I mean. But 